<laughs> no, so, you know, it drives me nuts. I hate buying condoms. Because, like, it weirds me out because I shop in the same neighborhood my folks do. So I'm always paranoid about running into one of my parents. Like, I was buying a pack, which I still have ladies if any of you guys are interested. <laughs> <laughs> no, I bought a pack, you know, I'm sitting there, I'm in line, about to pay for it. And all of a sudden my mom shows up. So me thinking quickly, I grab a book on how to make balloon animals. You know? <laughs> 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 no, you gotta be safe though, ladies, you gotta be safe. My ex-girlfriend, she always talked about how using her diaphragm as protection was a pain in the ass. Oh, I explained to her that she was using it wrong. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, I never understood what a diaphragm was when I met her first day. She was the first girl I met that used that. Like the first time I saw it, I couldn't figure out what a cat needed a shower cap. Like, it was just like, <laughs> the ladies, you gotta be safe. Like I read this article in the Chronicle, it said 56% of women in San Francisco admit to carry protection with them. Okay. I assume that another 44% are carrying children. Like <laughs> you see a lot of weird statistics about sex though. Like apparently 85% of men have admitted to looking at the computer while wearing nothing but their underwear. 50% of those men admitted that that's how they got fired. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys gotta be safe. You gotta think about it. Think about it. Because condoms aren't 100% safe. We all like to think that. But I had two of them on me. And I got hit by a car. Sex is just rough in general, you know? Like, and I, I've got a lot, of, a lot of my friends are comedians because of what I do. And like, my, comedians like to talk about the things they do to themselves. Not even other women, but the things they do to themselves. Like, a lot of my comedian friends like to talk about how they masturbate. And one of my friends does this thing, you've probably heard about it. He sits on his hand until it gets numb. And then he gets into it with himself. And he says it feels like somebody else is doing it. He told me I should try it. And he's sitting there. And I'm like, all right, fine, whatever. You know, I'm doing experimentation. <laughs> I, 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 I heard it wrong because I was on my cell phone when he was telling me about this. So now it's just between me and him and Verizon. <laughs> <laughs> and he's telling me about this, and I'm on my cell phone though, so I heard him wrong. So when I tried it, I sat on my dick, and then it felt like I was jerking off somebody else. He looked at me. Nothing, nothing sexual ever works out for me. Like one time I was masturbating during a thunderstorm. That was great. All of a sudden the power went out and I freaked out. I thought I finally went blind from doing it. 